Hey, what's up Chemical Guys family and welcome back to a brand new episode of Chemical Guys Detail Garage. On the last episode, we tackled the exterior of this Accord. On this episode, we're doing the interiors. So stay tuned, we're gonna show you guys everything that you need to know and have to deep clean your interior. All right guys, so we're on the interior of this Accord and as you guys can see, it's pretty dirty just from first glance. The reason it looks so dirty is because it's a lighter color. So you're gonna notice every single bit of dirt grime, stain, and anything that everything that's going on on this interior. So today we're gonna to tackle everything starting from the dashboard. We're gonna start from the top of the vehicle in terms of the interior and then work our way down. So normally when it comes to something like this, I would start off with the dashboard and then do like something like the vacuuming towards the end. Because you can imagine you're cleaning the dash, you're knocking off all kinds of crumbs, dirt, dust, debris. It's getting on the carpet. So the last thing that you wanna do is vacuum the carpet first and then you know have to do it all over again once you're done. So right now, the first product that I'm actually gonna start off with is our Total Interior Cleaner and Protectant. So this product is an all-in-one product. It works on virtually all interior surfaces from dashboards, door panels, leather, fabric, glass, navigation screens. It works on virtually everything and it also leaves a nice UV protecting behind. So this is great for maintenance cleaning. Now on the dashboard, we don't really have too much going on. It's not like there's all kinds of grime and all kinds of stains going on here. This is mainly gonna be just for a gentle wipe down. So what I'm gonna do right now is actually grab my bottle of Total Interior and instead of spraying directly onto the surface, I'm gonna spray directly into my towel. That way I don't get the cleaner onto any unwanted surfaces. So I sprayed that about six times. That's really all you need. And then you can also spray more whenever needed. Now, once you spray your towel with enough product, all you wanna start doing now is simply start wiping down the surface that you wanna start cleaning. So right now I'm just wiping down the surface of the dashboard just to knock off all the loose dirt and debris. Like I mentioned, this thing is not really dirty at all. It's mainly just this light layer of dust that gets on this dashboard from rolling around with the windows down. So this is very easy to clean up and this is exactly why we have Total Interior. That way we wouldn't have to do like such a deep clean. We will go into a deep clean, but for something like this, it's not really necessary and that's why Total Interior is perfect. So we clean it up and we protect it all in one single step. And then in combination with the cleaner, what I usually like to do since I'm up here already, I like to use a boar's hair detailing brush and this is great using dry or wet. So you can use it with the cleaner or you can use it dry to remove dust from all the vents and that's usually what I like to do with this brush. Just kind of brush out any kind of loose dirt that's lingering in these vents and then if they do require a deeper cleaning you can come back with a deeper cleaner such as our nonsense all-purpose cleaner now nonsense is a great all-purpose cleaner you can use this with the brush you can use it with a towel and this is more of a deeper clean so this is going to break down a lot more dirt grime embedded oils that are sitting on the surface in preparation for a fresh coat of dressing or maybe you just want to give your interior a deeper clean so right now what i'm going to do is just finish up wiping down the rest of the dashboard and any other higher panels that don't require a deeper cleaning with the nonsense and then once we do that we'll work our way down for the next step in this detailing process All right guys, so moving on to a little bit more deeper cleaning, we're moving on to this little gearbox with the shifter. This thing is super dirty, it has pet hairs all over, it has a ton of embedded dirt and grime within the cracks. So in order to achieve that deep clean, we're gonna be using that nonsense that I spoke to you guys earlier about. And this is a great deep clean. So this right here, you can pair it with the boar's hair detailing brush. Now this brush right here, I was using it dry, but now I'm gonna use it wet. You can use two separate brushes if you wanna keep one dry and then use one wet with an all-purpose cleaner like nonsense. In this case, I'm just gonna mix it up and use this one since I'm already done dusting. Um, I'm gonna start using this. So what I'm gonna do is spray down directly onto the surface. Then I'm gonna spray directly into the bristles of my brush. And then I'm gonna start scrubbing down the surface with the brush. So right away, you'll see that this product has a great lathering aspect to it. It foams up very nicely. And that foam, it's not just for looks, that foam actually helps uplift all the dirt and grime that's uh, in there. It suspends it upwards, that way you have an easier time wiping it off. So you can also use this on the shifter itself. And the reason I like to use it with the brush is because the brush 
it gets into all the textured materials. So as you can imagine, um, your interior is not completely smooth. Your interior does most likely have like textured surfaces that you have to work on, which, you know, this brush does incredible on because it lets you get in very deep in there, get all that grime out of there that, you know, a microfiber towel won't necessarily get into. So now that I have all this nice and cleaned up, I'm just gonna set my brush to the side, grab a microfiber towel, and then I'm gonna start wiping down the areas that I just cleaned with that nonsense. All right guys, so now that we're done cleaning this little center console, now it's time to move on to cleaning pretty much the rest of the interior. So we're gonna go ahead and do a cool little montage for you guys, showing you some epic before and afters on a variety of surfaces from hard plastics, vinyl, rubber, you name it. We're gonna go ahead and deep clean the rest of the hard interior surfaces on this Accord, and we'll be right back with you guys for this next step in this detailing process. guys so moving on we deep cleaned the interior from all the hard plastics so all the vinyl rubber and plastic trim now it's time to move on to the carpets and the floor mats so right here i actually pulled out a floor mat and as you guys can see this thing is super dirty there's stains all over the place it's darker than what it should be this is the actual original look of what it should look like versus over here where it's super dirty we did this test spot just to kind of see what would work in terms of which cleaning product would do best at cleaning this floor mat and we opted with our lightning fast stain extractor now lightning fast is a super powerful stain extractor that uplifts dirt, grime, and debris from deep within the fabric and cloth material of your vehicle. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm actually gonna mask it off half and half so that we can see a nice little 50-50 split of what it should look like versus you know how dirty it is. So I'm just gonna do this real quick. All right guys, so now that we have this masked off, we're gonna grab our lightning fast, which we're gonna be using to clean with, and we're gonna pair it with our drill brush. Now right here we have our spinner multi-surface drill brush. This is our light duty, so you'll know because this is a lighter gray color. This is great for using the power of your drill to deep clean your floor mats and carpets. So what I'm gonna do right now is spray direct onto the surface. We're gonna spray a nice amount onto the surface. That way the cleaner does a great job at starting to break down all the grime. And then we're gonna use the brush to help loosen it up and extract it. So now that that's all sitting, you can also spray the bristles of your brush to kind of make it a little bit easier on your life in terms of it, you know, kind of just gliding throughout the fabric. And then I'm gonna uh, grab it real quick and then I'm gonna start working it with the brush. All right guys, and just like that, with little to no effort, we're all done. Now all we gotta do is grab a microfiber towel and wipe it down. Now, if you do have access to a carpet extractor, then I would highly recommend using it. That way you extract all the dirt and grime that's deep within. In this case, since they're not too bad, as you guys can see, the cleaner and the brush did a pretty great job at extracting all that stuff for us. All we're doing is wiping away anything that's on the surface with our microfiber towel. And then we should be as good as done right now. So now what I'll do, Check off this tape and check that out, you guys. Back to brand new. Huge difference, huge before and after. It looks incredible. And as you guys can see, there's no more dirt or grime on this side of the carpet. And that's what it should look like. This, not so much. So right now, what we're gonna do is continue doing the rest of the floor mats as well as the rest of the carpet on the vehicle. Then we're gonna move on to the last step, which is protecting everything. So make sure to stay tuned. Don't miss out.
All right, guys, so we're completely done with cleaning the interior. And last thing that we have to do is apply some protection. So we're going to be applying some Hydro Shield, which is a vinyl, rubber, plastic, ceramic shine coating. So you can apply this to things like your dashboard, door panels, and much more, as well as on exterior surfaces, such as on tires, exterior trim, bumpers, and much more. So this product is going to offer intense protection and it's going to enhance your interior surfaces with a new look finish. So it doesn't give it like a super wet looking finish, it doesn't give it a dry look, it gives it a nice in between. Alright guys, so we just finished coating the rest of the interior with our Hydro Shield Ceramic Shine Coating. Now we're going to go ahead and wrap up the video right here. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give us a huge like, subscribe if you haven't done so already, and if you guys want to pick up any of the products that we use in today's video, you can actually find them all linked in the description below. As always, my name is Joey, this is Chemical Guys Detail Garage, and I'll see you guys next time.